Alright guys, so in light of the princess theme, I'm going to wear a crown to hold my hair back. The only crown I own, and it's <laughs> my 21st birthday crown. <laughs> I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer to prime my face because <laughs> Princess Jasmine doesn't have big pores. Before anybody says anything, I am fully aware that the only thing that me and Princess Jasmine physically have in common is the fact that we have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. But she wears makeup, and so do I. So we have that in common too, okay? Stripe of sunlight. It's so annoying. I'm gonna go in with my MAC um, foundation because it's a bit more tan than my Buxom one and I want to look like Princess Jasmine. And she is not pale as sin. I'm just going to apply this in probably the grossest way possible. So do you guys wanna hear something super funny and cool? I actually filmed this entire video yesterday, like, start to finish, I did this makeup look yesterday. Like the entire makeup look. But I started filming too late and the lighting went away halfway through the video and I didn't realize until I went back and watched and it just looked so bad. That was my funny and cool story and now it's over. So here I am doing this again. Hopefully everything happens for a reason. Maybe I'll do the makeup better this time. So I'm finally going to Ulta today and buying the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer this is the last time I'm going to use this godforsaken concealer. So I want this to be um, a bit more dramatic than a lot of the makeup looks I've done in the past. So I'm just going to go and highlight my face with my concealer as well, which is something I don't do very often. My face is finally starting to calm down, like face volcano wise. I have a couple bad ones still, but it was like really angry for a couple of weeks and I think it's just now starting to like, it's like, yo, things are good now. We're okay now. Jasmine doesn't have dark circles. Princess Jasmine gets enough sleep. I don't. Literally stayed up until 4am watching New Girl yesterday. Time to set the face. God, this stuff is getting everywhere. Oh no. I love doing Halloween looks because I'm kind of like an all or nothing type person and I hate doing makeup looks that are like subdued and like they're not natural but they're not dramatic either you know they're like everyday glam. The thing is like those are great and like they look great but I just don't enjoy doing them. I love doing this dramatic fun stuff. Makes me so happy. Gives me life. In case you guys can't see there is powder floating everywhere. <laughs> So now that I look about one-sixth as flawless as Princess Jasmine does, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. So it was kind of awkward because I watched a Kathleen Lights video yesterday and it was called like YouTube Made Me Buy It. And it was just like all the products that YouTube hype had like caused her to buy because she wanted to try it. And she was talking about the Painterly Paint Pot and saying like, oh yeah, like, years ago this was like the best thing to use on your eyes and I'm like I just discovered this and I've been using it in all of my videos. I felt like, like an old woman who just discovered Facebook while everybody has been using it for years. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of a bummer. It's an oldie but it's a goodie. I'm gonna use that to make myself feel better. So for the f oh, this, this sunlight, oh, I was able to block out some of it. <laughs> So for the first eye shade, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blush palette and just use that kind of bronzy blush to make a like blending transition shade in my crease. So this shade right here, just kind of messily, like messily, dramatically, just like put that in your crease, above your crease, in the V, outer V of your eye. I live for dramatic eyeshadow. I love it so much. It doesn't have to be neat. It can be sloppy because you're gonna be doing so much blending over it that it's just like, it's negligible how this looks really. Pretty sure negligible was not the right word to use in that sentence. But I can't take it back now. So the two main colors that I think of when I think of Princess Jasmine, other than gold, are purple and blue. So for my crease color, I'm going to go in with a couple purples and then I'm probably going to cut my crease with like a really just shimmery bam blue. So I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye Palette. And first I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here. And using like a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend that 
kind of the same thing that I did with the brown except a little bit more concentrated. You can hear my roommate in the kitchen eating lunch. The sun is so annoying. So now I'm going to take this e.l.f. crease brush, which is a little bit more concentrated, and I'm going to take this matte purple shade down at the bottom. And I'm just going to concentrate this into the crease and the outer V. This is like the third step of those parts of the eye. You want this to be the most concentrated because it is the darkest purple. Is this eyeshadow a little much? Who cares? It's Halloween. I don't, don't give a rat's bottom. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that purple with this crease brush and also dust that onto my lower lash line as well. My lower lash line is going to get some love too, don't worry. Too much, too much. <laughs> Excuse my nails, they're horrible. So time for blue. I'm gonna go in with this Galaxy Chick BH Cosmetics palette. I showed you guys this palette in my um, makeup haul and I told you actually that I was going to do a Princess Jasmine makeup tutorial with this. I'm not really caring too much about like the coverage of the pigment right now. I just wanna make sure that I have like a game plan. I'm gonna take this color Comet and I'm just going to put that pack that onto my lid and kind of begin to cut my crease with it. Not very dramatic blue yet, but I just kind of want to make sure that I know what I'm doing before I go in with the more dramatic blue. Fallout isn't too bad, which is good because I didn't really think about it when I put on my whole face of um, makeup. <laughs> so next up to intensify the blue, I'm going to take this color Electra and I'm going to spray my brush with some of this face, face mist that I have going to pack that over the blue that I already have on there, especially concentrate, concentrating it on the center of my lid to make it pop. That is more like it. That is the blue that I'm looking for. The sun is chopping my chin off. That's rude. I've gotten a couple BH Cosmetics palettes that I haven't been that happy with. Like, thank God they're not too expensive because I would have really regretted them. But this one is just foolproof. It's beautiful and I love it. Like, they're tiny planets. It's eyeshadow shaped like tiny planets. You can't really go wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to spray my brush again and just go with an even lighter blue shade, which is this asteroid right here. Oh my God, the sun just blinded me. Which is asteroid right here. And this is like more a white than it is a blue, but... I'm just going to put that right on the center of my eyelid. Then I'm also going to take that asteroid and put it on the inner corner of my lower lash line. Just like this. Just pack it on there. I really want that area of my eye to pop. Not that I'm surprised or anything, but this is like actually working. I didn't think it would. <laughs> So see how that just like opens up the eye. Some guy just walked by outside listening to really loud music, so if you heard that, I'm sorry. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with my BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye Palette. And I'm going to kind of be a little daring and use this super deep kind of neon-y purple right here. And I'm just going to try to press that a little into the not highlighted part of my lower lash line. Just like that. One last step for eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with um, a bit of a deeper blue and I'm just going to kind of add a bit more dimension to this really bright blue on my eyelids because it's starting to look a little flat. So I'm going to use my ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade um, Luckfully and it's just like this dark blue. I'm in love with ColourPop and it's so, so incredibly dangerous. Especially since they have cheap stuff so you don't really know how much damage you're doing until the damage is already done. <laughs> Before I do my eyeliner, because Jasmine has that like really dramatic winged eyeliner, I'm going to go in and attempt to Princess Jasmine contour my face. <laughs> Before I contour, I'm going to go in and bronze up the skin because she is just golden and golden. Because it's Princess Jasmine, you know? She doesn't only have a contour, she has a glow. She has a blessed face. I'm being super weird. So that was just to bronze up a little bit, and that was using my CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. To contour, I'm going to go in with my Zach Posen Bronzer by MAC. 
And I'm going to use this like flat brush just to kind of draw the line, draw the line like where I want my contour to be. I'm not that crazy of a contourer though, so I might just not do that. We'll see. <laughs> this is not a contouring bronzer by any means, like at all. This is kind of not really dark enough to contour with in my opinion. And you just gotta do what you got with what you got, so that's what I'm doing. I'll try this. Why not? Why not? It's Halloween. I'm on Halloween. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and blend that out with a foundation brush. I really wanted to be Princess Jasmine for Halloween, but apparently fat girls don't wear Princess Jasmine costumes because I could not find any plus size Princess Jasmine costumes which was a little infuriating. If any of you look it up and find some, because I suck at searching for things, that would make me feel really good. So I'm just kind of blending that contour out with a bit more bronzer, because it did kind of just blend in a line and it was a little upsetting. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Airspun Loose Face Powder and kind of like, like carve out, just like that. Just carve out that contour a little more and just bake the area underneath it. Now it just looks like Santa Claus. So while that's baking, I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to take this model launcher brow pencil that I just got, and it's a spoolie on one end and a pen on one end. It's a spoolie on one end and a pencil on the other. So I'm just going to brush out my brows real quick. So I'm just going to just kind of draw around my eyebrows, fill them in a little with this, and then go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow and fill them in with that as well. These sun dots, where are they coming from? I'm just going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. So I did my eyebrows a little bit bold because um, Jasmine has those like huge bold eyebrows that are just like beautiful. I might go in and clean them up a little with concealer. Oh my God, I forgot to blend my nose contour because I never do them. So I wasn't used to it guys. I'm gonna go back in with um, this shiny part of my e.l.f. concealer and I am going to highlight underneath my brow bone with that and then I'm just going to highlight, whoa, just going to highlight down my nose with that as well. I'm gonna brush away that bake now. Look at that contour. How does she do it? Just magic. Time for eyeliner. I'm not doing this on camera because that is going to be a disaster. I use my Ico I Do Liquid Liner and it's got this like fat application, applicator, applicator tip and that's going to make it easier for me to do that dramatic cat eye that Jasmine does. So I'm going to do this off camera and I will be right back. That was horrible and stressful and I hated every second of it. But look at how good it turned out. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go in with highlighter now. I'm going to use this um, compact eyeshadow from Poopa called Vamp. And again, I got this from a drugstore in Italy like three years ago, <laughs> but it's been really good to me. So just gonna keep using it. I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone, tip of the nose, chin. Just wanna make my lips look really full. So I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting here too. And then I'm just going to do the tops of my cheekbones, of course. Just like keep packing it on there. Bam. Like this was a cheap eyeshadow, but I guess it's from Italy, so like everything is beautiful from there, including the people. Let's not forget inner corners, of course. And then finally, lips. First I'm gonna go in with this nude lip liner. That's just like a really light nude, it's from Maybelline. Fill in my lips with that. I'm gonna keep it nude and I'm gonna go in with my Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. I was about to say goodbye to you guys without putting mascara on. Oh my God, it's a new low. That's it for me. So I'm gonna first go in with my Borghese, Borghese, and I'm going to be using two mascaras because I want this to be super dramatic. Don't forget the bottom. And I'm gonna go in with my um, it Cosmetics Superhero Lash Extension. <laughs> so I used some blue ribbon to make this little headpiece and kind of tie the whole look together. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I think this is beautiful and I have so many other Halloween tutorials to come. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that this look inspired you for whatever 
Halloween costume you're planning on pursuing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.